Come, Watson. Watson, stay by this window and let me know as soon as you see a large man coming from the other side of the street. All right, Holmes. They must have never cleaned here before. This key reminds me of another. Photographs of several completed projects of Bromsby's enterprises. Let's have a closer look. It is young Grimble, and there are visible signs of family resemblance between the two men. What a beautiful model. Something else is needed here. Closed. This is a veritable museum. An old souvenir from India. Hmm, I'll examine this statue of Ganesh. A miniature of Bromsby. Closed. Closed.
Is there anything under this tiger? This writing is very hesitant and jittery. I can't keep these documents. Grimble will know that his drawer was opened if I take this key. Hurry, Holmes! I see someone coming. One moment. I must take care that everything appears undisturbed. Quickly, let us secure a cab. I must send several messages of great importance. Please sit down, Holmes. Even if you do not intend to eat, your constant agitation has been tiresome all evening. Besides, it threatens to ruin my digestion. Yes, but this activity allows me to concentrate. I suppose in the solving of this case, my brain must have priority over your stomach. Ah, Holmes! Hush, Watson. I can hear steps on the stairs. But the tread is too heavy to belong to the person I was expecting. Ah, it would seem that the army has arrived. In time to settle our quarrel. I hope I've not disturbed you gentlemen by arriving unannounced and at such a late hour. Nonsense. Please come in, Lieutenant. We are pleased with the diversion offered by your presence. Well, frankly speaking, I came with the hope that I could learn something of your progress on the case. But you must tell me first, what is your interest in this case? Oh, I see. Well, you must understand that, well, to speak plainly, Mr. Holmes, here is my position. I had not set foot on British soil for quite some time until now. A few short days ago, I saw an angel. It was Miss Lavinia, whom I then dared fall in love with. There it is, and I'm not afraid to say it. My good man, your meaning escapes me. Several moments later, her father lies dead, and she is considered the main suspect in this affair. But I tell you, this is impossible, because I could not and dared not take my eyes off of her. So what is your concern? It seems my unguarded and devoted attentions towards Miss Bromsby during her troubled days have left no doubt as to my true feeling for her. Inspector Lestrade has intimated that the court may consider my testimony to be tainted by my affections, thus my evidence disregarded. What is worse, I could even be accused of giving false evidence. Ah, that is horrible. We will take every effort to avoid it. Mind yourself! What do you want of me? That is why I have come to see you, Mr. Holmes. If I must seem to abandon her to save her honour and her life, then I will leave even if it means the absolute destruction of our happiness. 
But you, Mr. Holmes, could you intervene so that I will not be brought to this terrible choice? I will be eternally in your debt. Naturally, you must not lose hope, young man. Am I not right, Holmes? Anything is possible, Watson. Your hope is based on an assurance which, in good faith, I cannot give, my dear Lieutenant. However, I can give you this advice. Abandoning Miss Bromsby will do her case no good, even if her appearance in the dock proves unavoidable. Well, goodbye, Lieutenant. I will heed your advice, Mr. Holmes. Wait, I will see you to the door. We got him, Mr. Holmes. He was going into the Bromsby Cement Works. What did you say, Wiggins? The man you're looking for went into the Bromsby Cement Works, Mister, to the rear entrance. It was at night. Stapleton spotted him clear as day. Isn't that right, Stapleton? Here is your money and your extra guinea as promised. Well earned, lads. Bravo, Stapleton. Sometimes, Holmes, I do not know what stops me from. What are you going on about, Watson? You know very well what I am referring to. This brave young soldier is in total despair and broke down in tears in these very rooms. But the great Sherlock Holmes could not give him a farthing of hope or compassion. No, on the contrary, the great Holmes assures him instead that his beloved will likely stand trial. Which we do not have time to argue my methods. My irregulars have just found the mysterious passenger who took the train with the man presumed to be Horace Fowlett. On the very night that Fowler was murdered, our elusive passenger has been traced to the Bromsby Cement Works. There is not a moment to lose. I must return to that place. Are you with me? The Bromsby Cement Works, of course. According to Mr. Goblet, the cement factory will be guarded by a pair of dogs. We need to be very discreet.